Hey guys, this is Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to predict the most stable Lewis structures. So, if we were taking a look at sulfate, there is many possible Lewis structures for sulfate. I've drawn three of them right here. Of these three, let's predict uh, which one is the best and or which one is the most stable. So to do that, we have to first start by calculating the formal charge of each of the atoms for each of the Lewis structures. To calculate formal charge, you just follow this formula that formal charge equals the number of valence electron minus the number of dots minus the number of lines around each of the atoms. So let's start with that by calculating the formal charge of each of the atoms. So this, we'll start with this oxygen right here. Oxygen has six valence electrons minus the number of lines, which is one, minus the number of dots around it, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, giving us a formal charge of negative one. So I will start by just labeling that this has a formal charge negative one, which means that all these other oxygens also have a form of charge of negative one because they all look exactly like the oxygen up here. And then for the sulfur, sulfur has six famous electrons as well, minus the number of lines around it, which is four, and then it has no lone pairs, um, no lone electrons around it, zero, giving us a form of charge of positive two. Okay, moving on to the second structure. Uh, we already know that the oxygens of the single bonds are going to have a formal charge of negative one, so I'll, I'll label those. And then the oxygens of the double bonds, uh, six valence electron minus the number of lines, two lines minus the number of dots, one, two, three, four. They're giving us a formal charge of zero, so I'll label that as zero. If there's a formal charge of zero, you don't necessarily have to label it. I'm just labeling it here for you guys to see. And then for the sulfur, has a valence, so far has six valence electrons minus the number of lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then no lone electrons, zero form of charge as well. And then for the last structure, we already know that the oxygens of the double bonds all have zero form of charge. And then Sulfur has six valence electrons minus the number of lines which around it, which is eight, and then it has no dots, so that gives us a formal charge of negative two. And then now that we have the formal charge of each of the atoms, we can then use these rules to determine which structure is the best. The best structure has the most number of atoms of zero formal charge. It has the lowest magnitude of formal charges. And then if there is a negative formal charge on an atom, it's on the most electronegative atom. So let's use these uh, guidelines to determine which of these structures is the best. We can eliminate the first structure because in the first structure we see all the atoms has a formal charge. And then we also have a positive two formal charge, so that's a higher magnitude. Ideally, all the atoms have either a zero formal charge or a negative positive one formal charge. So we can cross this one out, then, then we're left with these two. And in the, this one, you can see that four of the atoms have zero formal charge versus this one, only three of the atoms have formal charges. But you can, but the structure on the right has a, so far has a negative two formal charge, so it's considered a, an atom of a higher magnitude of formal charge. Whereas the structure on the left, all the atoms either have zero formal charges or negative one formal charge. That's, a, that's better. And then we can use the last criteria the negative formal charge is on the oxygen for the atom on the left, but on the sulfur on the atom on the right. And because oxygen is more electronegative than sulfur, that makes the middle structure the best structure. Because it fulfills this criteria and this criteria the best. So that means this structure is the most stable of the three resonance or the three possible Lewis structure. So there you have it. That's how you, you can use formal charge to, to determine which is the best structure or which is the most stable structure. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And if you found this video to be helpful, like the video, subs share, subscribe, because throughout this entire semester, I'll be posting up tons of video that's going to help you chemistry and help you conquer chemistry. Keep practicing and I'll see you next time.